G'day cheeky dogs, my name's Monkey and I'm an Australian currently living in America. Today's video is going to be a breakdown of Bluey Season 1 episode Bob Bilby. And wow, did this have so many more Easter eggs than what I thought it was going to have. I can't wait to share all of the references for Australia, Brisbane, generalized Easter eggs as well with you. But first, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do and you hit that button down below as well as that bell for notifications so you know whenever I release any other content. With that being said, let's just get into it. There is just so much stuff that I want to share with you and so many Australian references as well that I was so excited to find out about. Now, starting off with our first Easter egg and that is our traditional Easter eggs of the tennis ball, the long dogs and the pineapple. And wow, there were a lot in this episode. For the tennis balls, we had five different ones in different locations. The first was next to the piano. Then we have another one in one of the little kids' baskets. We have one on the Bob Bilby book. We also have one in the painting in the background, as well as one in the ball basket at the end in the kindy. For long dogs, we had three different long dogs in total. One was at the kindy on the little sort of picture shelf. The other one we have was on the toy bench back at Bluey's house. And the third one was in the laundry pile at Bluey's house as well. And for pineapples, which is not always in every episode, but it does pop up pretty often. And the pineapple, of course, is in the Ludo Studios logo. And for this episode, we had four pineapples in total. The first one is the pineapple notice board that we see in the playroom. We then have the decor item in the living room that we've seen quite often. We then have a new one on the surfboard in the garage, as well as a wooden style pineapple next to the garage door. The second really amazing real life Easter egg that I really should mention is the fact that Bob Bilby is real. He is actually for real life existing in our real world in Australia. So I found this out when I was looking into the voice actor of Mrs. Retriever, who is Anne Kerr. And Anne Kerr is not an actress, but instead she is a local Brisbane kindy teacher. She actually teaches at the Gap C and K kindergarten, which is the inspiration for Bingo's kindergarten as well. And she actually found Bob Bilby about 20 years ago in a toy box. She pulled him out and just apparently he spoke to her. She did a whole podcast interview about this as well over on Bluey's Brisbane. Definitely go check it out. But it was really cool and that's how what inspired her to create the Bob Bilby book. And the kids in real life do get to take Bob Bilby home and take photos with him and come back and share the story with the class. And also Bob Bilby in real life has actually gone to Scotland as well. So just something so cool and kind of mind blowing to me that I know Bluey is sometimes based on a lot of real life stuff with Joe Brum and his daughters, but this was just extra, extra special, I think. The next thing I should mention is the fact that, yeah, Bingo is in kindergarten or kindy, as we say in Australia. And I've seen on a lot of Reddit threads and Facebook posts that people are really confused by this. And that's because of the difference between school systems, basically, between Australia and the US and the UK as well. So in Australia, we do kindergarten, then preschool, and then we go into school. So kindergarten is usually from the ages of three to five, and we know that Bingo in this episode is four years old. However, in America, it's totally different. You guys do preschool, then kindergarten, and then year one or grade one. So that's just to clear up a little bit of confusion that you guys might have. In Australia, it's kindy first. The next thing I wanna bring up is all of the Australian references and Easter eggs, which are about seven, I would say, in total, that are specifically for Australia in general. The very first one is the didgeridoo that we see in Bingo's kindy class. The didgeridoo is a traditional First Nations instrument that is played and makes the most incredible sounds and I feel is very iconic to Australia as well. The second one is the sausage roll with sauce that we see Bandit eating and as well that Bob Bilby tries to steal. The sausage roll goes alongside the meat pie in Australia. They're both very iconic foods that we would eat for smoko or for lunch. The next really cool Australian reference is the word wackadoo that has become a bit of a catchphrase for chili. Wackadoo actually comes from a puppet show in Australia. So back in the 90s, there was a puppet show called Lift Off and in it, they always were at the Wackadoo Cafe. So I think that's a really cool throwback to the idea of puppets or Bilby being a puppet, but I love that it also became kind of Chili's catchphrase too. The next Aussie reference is the pink galahs that we see in the yard or also known as pink cockatoos, a very Aussie animal. And we also see gum nuts at the front of Bingo's kindy. The gum nut trees are also very iconically Australian. And the last kind of Aussie reference I would like to say is the name Stevo. In Australia, we love to give people nicknames and usually by adding either a Y or an O at their name. So Stevo obviously is for Steve, who is a fiery fire man in Australia, and we still have not met Stevo. And maybe one day we will, but today is not that day. Now going a little bit more specific, I wanna get into some of the Brisbane-based Easter eggs. The first one being the park that they take Bob Bilby to. We saw this in the previous episode, Bike. It is Woolcock Park at Red Hill, so it's very close to where we know Bluey lives. And the other one, of course, is River Fire. 
River Fire is an event in Brisbane that's held on the Brisbane River, and that's where we see them ending with Bob Bilby and him looking at the fireworks. So I love that they included this in there as well. Our next interesting thing in this episode is the massive debut of characters. This is one of the largest debut of characters, not only ones that we see in Bingo's Kindy, but also a lot of the background characters are all main-ish characters that we see throughout the show. But there is one character that we don't ever really see again, and that is Mrs. Terrier. So we see in the Bob Bilby book, and they're talking about the fact that Mrs. Terrier took Bob to Scotland. Now, Mrs. Terrier, we're assuming, is a teacher also at Bingo's Kindy, and possibly the mum of the Terriers who go to Bluey's school. But like I said before, it is really interesting that the real life Bob Bilby did actually go to Scotland as well. But not only that, but the picture that we see of Bob with a castle here is Castle Stalker in Scotland. Our next interesting thing to notice is the animation errors we see in this. So the first one is with Jasper W. So in Bingo's class, we see Jasper W with brown hands. However, in the Bob Bilby book, she has, or he has, black hands instead. The second error is a hotly debated error. So in the background in the supermarket, we can see Trixie and we know it definitely is Trixie because back to back, it matches up. But next to her is a red healer who, yes, does look a little bit like Stripe. So a lot of people believe that this is a Stripe error and it's miscolored. I, however, believe that that is not the case. I like to think that perhaps it is either Trixie's brother or perhaps it could even be her father, we don't know. Because I feel like you'd have to put in effort to make it miscolored. And it's not just the miscoloring. When you look at them back to back, you can also see differences. Stripe has a long stripe along his stomach and he also doesn't have the extra patch on his ear, unlike this dog. So I feel like for this to be an editing error, they would have had to add in a patch and take out the stripe and color it red. And I feel like surely they wouldn't do that much effort if it was just a mistake. So I believe, and as you'll see in my family tree video, that this absolutely is a relative of Trixie. Our next really funny little thing that you might not have noticed is Buddy in general. So Buddy loves to pick his nose and we see this throughout a couple of different episodes, but this is the first one that we really notice it in. So we can see him next to Mrs. Retriever picking his nose and then in the end credit scene, he also comes in picking his nose. But there is a big regional difference here. In Australia, you actually see him at the very end of the scene putting it in his mouth and eating it. However, in the UK and US versions on Disney+, Plus, they cut it just before he does that. He's just looking at it. So I would like to know, what have you guys seen at the end credits of that episode? Do you see him putting it in his mouth or does it cut off for you? Now, something else I'd like to add in is my confirmation of a theory that I've had going on in my head. And that's the idea that Aunt Trixie and Chili are hockey superstars. So something we see here is Chili looking at the TV screen and there's a hockey player on there. So obviously if they're on TV, they're playing in some sort of big level game. The hockey player there is wearing the green and gold headbands, which is the Australian colors. But the hockey stick that she's holding is black, orange, and blue, which is the exact same one we saw Aunt Trixie holding in Horsey Ride. And we also saw in that episode that Chili had like the Australian national bag and hockey stick. So I feel like this is confirmation. If we see it on the screen, that that means that the two of them perhaps were famous hockey stars before they had kids. And to back this up as well, in the garage, we see a bunch of trophies. We see a very specific hockey trophy, which obviously belongs to Chili, but some other trophies in the background as well. So I feel like maybe they could be Chili's too, because even inside the house, we see a picture of her holding a first cup as well. So I feel like Chili was definitely a hockey superstar before she had kids. Our next really funny kind of dog and Easter egg joke is the waffles joke. Of course, when you look closely, it's waffles as in a joke about waffles and you see the picture of the waffles there. But something really interesting is that waffles exist in real life and they're waffle treats for dogs. Speaking of treats for dogs, if you look just underneath that waffles one, you can see that there's flowers for sale as well as tree bark. This is such a funny dog joke and the fact that dogs love to chew on sticks or chew on tree bark as well. So of course it would be for sale. Our next really fun little Easter egg is the Apple products that we see in the Blueyverse. So in here, instead of seeing the Apple logo, we see the dog paw print logo instead on all of the phones as well as the tablet too. Now some really cool toy Easter eggs is of course the Pixar ball toy. We see this as far as I'm aware wear twice throughout Bluey. We see it in backpackers, but we see it here as well at Bluey's Kindy. And they kind of make it, I think, sort of obvious because they give it a full few seconds of Bandit just looking at Winton so that we can see that Easter egg in the background. The other Easter egg is the carrot toy that's underneath the kitchen table. And I think this might be a reference to Plants vs Zombies. 
But if you have any idea of maybe what it might be a reference to instead, let me know in the comment section down below. Something else we also notice at Bingo's Kindy is all of the bugs. You can see in the background so many different bugs that are there. And this might give us a bit of evidence as to why Bingo is so obsessed with bugs as well. We constantly see her with ladybugs and the walking leaves and her singing about bugs. And so maybe this is where she got her inspiration for her bug love from. Something else in Bingo's Kindy as well is a picture of a wolf. We haven't really heard about wolves a lot in the Bluey verse, but I think it's really interesting that they showed a picture of an actual dog on four legs who kind of looks like a wolf. So I'm really curious as to whether wolves exist in Blueyverse but are still animal-like and not anthropomorphic dogs. I'm not really sure. What do you guys think it might be? And some of my favorite last little details is one, the bandit cup that we see in the kitchen with the big B on it. So kind of like a dad joke or a dad cup perhaps that we might have gotten from the girls as a present. And then my favorite one is the Chanel Easter egg. So when they're at the supermarket in the background, you can see a hat store in the background there and the logo looks like the two C's, but in between it is a dog bone. So obviously Chanel also exists in the Bluey verse. Overall for me guys, Bob Bilby is a five out of five long dogs episode. Let me know what you would give it out of five long dogs down below. I absolutely loved it. There was so much in it with just traditional Easter eggs as well as just really fun Australian references. And I also love the idea of them showing what a bilby is. Bilbies are really special to Australians and they're also an endangered species in case you didn't know. So for us in Australia for a long time, they tried to raise awareness about bilbies by making them the Easter bilby rather than the Easter bunny because bunnies and rabbits are actually a pest in Australia. They're not native to our country. So they would for a long time try to promote the bilbies as our Easter bilby as well. And so that has a really special place in my heart. I also really love the message of this, of the idea that, you know, we can become so focused on tech that it can sometimes just take away from having an actual really fun day. Sometimes it's good to just put all the devices away and just go back to basics and just have fun and actually think about what you can do aside from playing on technology to have fun as well. So I love that idea too. But let me know what you guys think of this episode in the comments down below. I will be doing loads more breakdowns as well as more theory videos and season three videos as well. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any of them either. But until then, I've picked out a few other videos that maybe you cheeky dogs would like to watch and I will see you in another video. Mwah. Bye.